Hey, Prof G here with another Reason video. And in this one, I'm going to be going over the newest instrument for Reason called Friction. I'm not getting paid to make this video, but I was provided the software ahead of time to have a quick look at it. And what I'll do is build up a little song using the instruments from Friction. And we'll talk a little bit about the software, maybe not go into too much details, but sort of check out what's going on. Now I am wearing my DeLorean shirt because I just got back from a Craigslist trip where I picked up the JVC video camera that was used in Back to the Future. I do love my Back to the Future props and one of these days I will get a DeLorean, but I'm gonna have to make a few more YouTube videos before that happens. All right, so let's get into it. I'll show you the song that we're gonna build here and then I'll go start from almost scratch and go through the instrument and have a quick look at it. All right, so to start with, I loaded up a kit from Ignition Code and played in a little beat. And then what I've done is I've got this little drone and this strings thing happening here at the beginning. So this is what we're gonna start with. So what this instrument is trying to do is it's trying to model string sounds. So instead of using samples and little recordings of instruments, it's got an engine, like a synthesizer engine that is creating the sound. So you can think of it more as a synthesizer than as a sample player. So maybe we'll just go with a cello here. On the top here, you can see we could choose between two different ways of playing. So we can have a bowed instrument or a plucked instrument. So what you can do is you can switch between certain parameters with these key switches down at the bottom. So anywhere where you see a key switch over here in the software, down at the bottom, you'll see what that is controlling. So I can switch between bowing and pluck with the D note down below. So that's the key switch part already. And if you want something to just stay on, just click it. And now the key switch will switch to the other setting while you have it held down and then go back to the original when you take your finger off. So with the bowing here, we've got a bunch of parameters. We can see how much of an accent there is at the beginning of the note. We can see how much pressure is applied to the bow. It almost sounds kind of kind of grungy as if somebody is digging into a cello. And then here, not much pressure at all. And then we've got position on the fretboard as well. So where the bow is. So noise is how much noise is present in the bow sound. And there's some other things we can control, like the variation of the position here with this knob. Over on the right hand side, if we go to pluck, we've got some, some controls that are a little bit more specific to a plucked sound. So again, adding more noise. The pluck level versus the bowing level, I guess. So the caleno means you are actually turning the bow around and using the wood. If we look over at the harmonics, we can turn that up. And we can choose the harmonics that are going to come up when you have the harmonics button held down. And then again, that's a key command down here. If I press the F sharp, that will come on. Over here, we've got the resonator body, so we can choose things like a taiko drum. So you can hear how it sounds kind of a little boomier. And then if we go to something smaller, like a violin, it sounds a lot smaller. And then we've also got a reverb built in right here. So let's maybe change this to a large hall. And then doubling adds extra players to whatever the note is.
it will add other notes and sort of add some variation so it's not just the exact same thing. And that's what's kind of neat about this modeling stuff is that uh, we're not just pulling samples that would all just sound exactly the same. Over here we've got vibrato. We can turn that on and off with a key switch. <laughs> As we can see, Mod Wheel is controlling the vibrato rate. So watch what happens if I turn this up. Oh, and the other thing I love about Reason, the Reason Rack plugin here is the fact that I can undo this. Look at that, there we go. I wish every virtual instrument had an undo button on it, like come on. And then we've got a little EQ section here as well. And all of that stuff can be modulated. And then down here we've got the key controls. C sharp is tremolo. We can switch to pluck. And so this trig button here is actually kind of neat. These two right here. If I play that down, it will re-trigger a note as if the cellist is going back and forth between a note. But if I hold the trig button down, watch what happens. Just has kind of a different sound to it than just hitting the note again on your controller. Next we've got harmonics. We can turn that on and off. We've got some legato, re-trigger stuff, polyphony on and off or monophonic on and off, and then the glide and vibrato. Okay, so that's probably enough for the controls of the instrument. So now we'll get back into the song. Okay, so here's another patch I found earlier when I was playing through stuff. We got some bagpipes. It's just got a neat tone to it. So the next instrument we're gonna put in here is maybe this harp. I pulled up a harp and you can see it's set to the pluck setting. Really nice harp sound. The next thing we'll look at is this bass flute. And then we'll pull up some random patches after this. Okay, bass flute. So this one sounds much more like a, a wind instrument than a string instrument. Very cool sound. Let's try putting that one in there. Let's go have a look at some of the patches. And if we look, there are some combi patches which are made with combinator. So it's not just friction, but it's friction and maybe other effects or other instruments. And I did notice they had a Tyco ensemble in here. So let's see what that one sounds like. Let's go to combi patches again and see what else we've got in here. Delightful plucks. Mm -hmm. 
So you can hear really dramatic patches in the combinator patches. This is fun. All right, um, so that was kind of cheating, but it works really nicely called the Malady Sequence. It's, it's just the sort of infinite amount of combinations you can do with Reason devices. So here's our funky slap. Again, really interesting use of it. Let's try some of these other bass ones out, see how they sound. So we'll go to 80s fretless. Let's have a listen to the violin, which is kind of their first patch, I think, that loads up. So there you go, gives you an idea of what this friction software is all about. I think it's quite exciting. I'm excited to see them going down this road of modeling as opposed to more sampling because we have a lot of sampling stuff out there and this kind of fun modeling software, it kind of reminds me of old string synthesizers or something like that. And it allows you to think a little bit outside of the box and get organic sounding synthetic sounds, which I'm always a big fan of. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell and we'll see you in the next video.